good afternoon dear viewers, I'm happy to welcome you on Savolmash channel. This is Alexander Sudorov and we are in the individual heating station of the Savolmash Design and Technological Bureau. Here is the installation of heating equipment, there is a pit, hot water supply will be introduced through the main line, there are distribution points with pumps, plate heat exchanges. All this equipment will supply hot water to our facility and will allow us to fulfill our immediate work tasks. Today we will show you some footage of the equipment installation and of course we will talk about other events that are taking place. And what I would like to note is that now the installation works are being carried out both outside and inside the building and the project has moved to the stage where everything you see now is not exactly construction. It is already finishing and commissioning works, which are carried out both with engineering equipment and technological equipment. And this, in turn, allows us to maximize the time we need to complete the construction. Submit the facility to the State Commission and put it into operation. Let's go outside and see what networks lead to this room. Now we have moved to the heating main, which we have already shown you many times. Here we can see the pipes being laid and the joints of the pipes are being welded and the leakage control system is being connected. You can see a wire here. Then the joints are sealed with thermal insulation and as a result we have a ready-made heat supply pipeline. And even if there is a leakage of the heat carrier, then an alarm is triggered and we can see on the control panel in what place there was a depressurization of the pipeline and we can quickly eliminate the problem. Also, we have already mentioned that we have gone beyond the Savalmash construction site. Let's move on and see what that looks like. Specifically, right now the cameraman can show you that a tractor, by the way, the cameraman's name is Vladimir. A tract is now coming, an excavator to be more precise, and is breaking up the asphalt in order to lay our utilities, to give it a second life. Utilities specifically the Design and Technological Bureau heating pipelines. You know, I have looked at it all and I thought, recently there was only a pit here, and now there is already a finished building with a closed thermal circuit. And you can also say that there is another such building buried around this building. And the work is simply striking in terms of a scale. There we can see the communication lines that go to our neighbors. The difficulty was to get around them without hitting or damaging them. All of that has been overcome. And we are getting ready to lay the pipelines. If you look further, you will see the crosswalk. There is an uncovered part of the green zone to the left of it. And that is where all this good will be connected. And in the near future we will be able to proudly say that the heat has been brought into the building. 
Let's go and see what's happening on the other side of the building. On July the 11th, 2023, the Control Geodetic Survey of the Constructed External Water Supply Networks, namely the diversions from the Savalmash production facility with a diameter of 110 mm into the constructed chamber, is being carried out. In order to apply these diversions to the engineering topographic plan of the city of Moscow. And now we have moved to the ramp, already familiar to many of you, where unloading and loading of trucks will be carried out. And not only trucks. Here we see a fairly level platform. It was backfilled with sand, then backfilled with gravel. And now we realize that this entire area is ready for asphalt paving. In order to start this process, we need to make an advance payment. So I remind you that the speed of all construction works depends mainly on the rate of investment. And please note that the temporary fence, which you can see now in the form of blocks, the main part of it has been dismantled. The blocks are also being gradually removed and the territory of our site ends even behind that green fence with a grid. So this is all the space we will need in order to carry out all the activities of the enterprise. And I remind you that there we have a platform for the installation of ventilation climate equipment, which stands to the right of it. It will also be made. The solution will allow us to reduce the vibration load of the whole building from the operation of this equipment. Here we can also see the pipes that are laid out, which are treated with special substances and then installed in their rightful place. The wells, that is, all of this is now being actively worked on. Let's move on. The trench you see on the right is getting longer than in our previous videos. I remind you that this is a trench for laying our communications for the formation of outdoor lighting, that is for lamp posts. And this will be beautiful and noble. From this angle, by the way, don't hit your head. From this angle, the mountain of gravel looks more grandiose. And here, dear viewers, you could observe there were special grounding frames. You can see part of this grounding on both sides. The fact that it is buried indicates that we are completing getting to the required level here. And all this will also be done. There are also wells here, the grounding goes further. The removal of the temporary road will also continue gradually along this part of the building. We cannot do it at once, because we need to ensure access to this area. Here you can see a part of the dismantled road, an excavated trench, which has already been backfilled, indicating that certain communications have already been laid. I don't know what this trench is for. Good question, by the way. I don't know what it is, but I can tell you with certainty that somewhere here there are the communications of low current networks. And there is already an internet network, which works in the building. And now we can enjoy the benefits of the 21st century, which helps our specialists a lot in their work. We finally got to this hose. This is just a temporary water supply for the toilets. Can you imagine what we are working with? But soon pipes will be laid here. And all this will be made permanent and we will be able to continue to enjoy the benefits of civilization. Pay attention, please, where our transformers are located and cable inlets. Again, the trenches are already dug. The grounding will also be filled in. There are already coils with cables, so the process will be very serious. We have gone a little bit further, 
and we see the local Bokons, which are a temporary storage area for the sand that is being taken away. And the whole part that we have seen in the dug-up state, we will need to level it by backfilling with sand and not only. Here we see the chamber that has been here for a long time. It is now in its final form. Certain connections have been made. We can also see the geotextile laid out, which shows that the work on the formation of the finished appearance of the facility, that is, the execution of the vertical layout, it is moving very quickly. And maybe we'll finish with the information agenda in this video. In fact, there are a number of other works going on in the building that we have not touched on today. For example, this is the work of installing lighting, moving it from the ceiling to the walls for more convenient maintenance in the future, and forming the right light source. So, in order to keep up to date with all the events of the Savalmash project, be sure to subscribe to our resources, YouTube channel, YouTube channel as well, it's very relevant now. All the videos that come out on YouTube and of course Telegram, Contacte and everything that we will offer you in the future are duplicated there. So thank you for your time, thank you for your participation in the project, stay with us and stay in touch. See you soon.